So, very good afternoon to one and all. I am Tirtesh. Today, let us learn uh, a chapter which, uh, which I was doing uh, earlier itself. That was input, output and memory unit. So, today in this class, let us deal with what are the different types of printers. So, in the previous class, we already stopped with the printer where we have learned till until dot matrix printer so today in our class let us deal with what is a different types of printers like thermal printer laser printer and also inject printers and after that let us learn what is a speaker what is the use of those speakers and finally let us end up with session with the memory units so please understand it carefully and uh, let's, uh, run on that so what is a thermal printer so actually a thermal printer uses heat uh, to print certain kinds of things these are mainly used in stores to print their barcodes like uh, you have seen uh, you have, if you go to a mart and all and you see some uh, lines over there what is those lines means those lines are mainly dealed or mainly utilized to uh, take the uh, entry of that product for that reason, we use this uh, thermal printer. Okay, what is a thermal printer? Uh, this printer produces an image by pushing the electric heat pins against a specific heat sensitive uh, paper. So, the thing which is going inside this printer, right, this paper which is there, right, it is a sensitive paper, specific sensitive paper, heat sensitive paper. What happens here is to the print head, they eject the heat by which the images are being formed such kinds of printers are known as thermal printers so the printer sends a electric current to the heating element of the thermal head which generate heat what does it do this uh, will generate a heat for a print head only then the images will be ejected okay the thermal printer is more quite and usually faster than a dot matrix printer so so here what happens here is we doesn't use any kind of uh, uh, what we say a striking mechanism here the data is which is which is going to print on a paper is using a non striking mechanism or it uses heat to generate a uh, to generate the uh, image of uh, form in a in a in a given format okay so that is what a thermal printer is mainly remember one thing whenever we want to use the thermal printer even nowadays thermal printer are being used to give a gift like you give a gift to a student or to your friends a mug where the pictures are been printed that is done using this thermal printers itself this is about thermal printer so the thermal printer are also uh, tends to be uh, one of the very due what happens here is when this thermal printer uh, gets into the contact with the heat right when it gets into the contact with the heat at that time what happens the pay what are the things which is written in the paper right what the print will become will be coming out out of, out of that right that will be removed out or vanished that is one of the disadvantages of thermal printer so the next type of printer is laser printer so what is this laser printer same as your xerox machine so you see a xerox machine right so what does it do it takes a print through the laser scan over that so a laser printer is a electronically electrostatic digital printing process what is this this is the electrostatic digital printing process so what happens you take a copy of your books what happens there is a green color light flows through the book until where you need to copy by that this laser printer takes the data and produces this uh, information through a paper. So one of the most most uh, powerful printers in the era of printing processes. So this what does it do? This use laser beams and dry powdered ink. So whenever we are going to use this powdered ink, right? At that time, what happens here is we get a good quality papers. Okay, then there will be no uh, waste ink produced. When we use this cartridges and all, what happens there is there the ink is produced more. But here what happens? Here there is no ink produced. Whatever the quantity of ink is required, only that much ink will be produced by the uh, dry powdered ink. Okay. So 
and this produces high quality text and graphical image and moderate quality photographs what happens here if you need to get a high quality images or high quality pictures this will be produced more at, at inset so yavattadu namige enadru ond images with a beautiful print beku anthe na ve en maartivi we go for laser printing so by doing this laser printing we get a good of amount of things here using this laser printer we can design a banner we can provide a face face to a banner and for our photography photos or a4 size or a3 size something anything any papers it is going to take normally the lowest uh, what we say the lowest size or a resolution of images is 300 dpi dot per inch the highest is 12000 dpi this is the highest version this is about a laser printer the next type of printer is inject printer so the inject printer is mainly is used for color printing okay inject printers are mainly used for color print how does this inject printer work is so basically this inject printer deals with uh, macro colors okay so what is the macro color here is the starting the at the first the macro color will be default as black when a image is been uh, taken or absorbed or a scan from a per, some from some particle what does this computer do this this printer will take the image and checks for proper colors whatever the colors that is called as magneta this here a magneta is been introduced so magneta anta helu enu anta helidre namige ondu color bage ondu clarity siglikide now ondu data na push madu that push it push data is itself a magnet so what is the inject printer here what happens in the inject printer is whenever we are going to uh, draw or whenever we are going to uh, take a print on a paper means what happens here here it is not directly a uh, uh, what we say a cartridge per se here what happens here is the ink will be pumped through a given tube so through that whatever the ink it goes goes to that that will be properly utilized that will be properly uh, utilized in the pages and it is and here it uses the combination of magneta in the cartridge so magneta what does it do it gives you the color a, a varieties of colors it will be provided and moreover this magneta helps you to make a good looking picture and here a black cartridge is been used as a, a mono como como as an output means in a default it uses black cartridge when the ink here a uh, ink inject printer are most commonly used as the ty- type of printers for providing the images on that for that reason we use this inject printer in your top left com- corner you can see the image how a inject printer works so the ink which flows through a nozzle it will be dropped uh, you it will not completely drop it will be take take some times and it will drops the ink and then later the later after that it uh, here in that page what the subtract is there right there the uh, pages will be filled through the ink whatever the images is been obtained of through a scanned images only then at that time it will work not for other other that the other things okay so the next is next is plotted printers so what is a plotted printer so say for the example you are going to take you are going to uh, go to a sticker shop and say tell tell to, to the person that i need a sticker of a, stick, a sticker of some different kinds of like say for the example a kodava symbol sticker stickers or some uh, some stickers of a given may uh, like a team sticker stickers or some uh, stickers of your family name or something so what you do you go tell them like i need this type of sticker sticker and what you do you tell them to write the sticker so what what they do they will write the stick, sticker using some uh, machine and they will help you to stick out in uh, in a vehicles uh, vehicles uh, glasses or somewhere uh, what wherever you require so the work of doing that uh like writing a picture right that is done through a plotted printer so what is a plotted printer a plotted printer is a traditional printer use a tone tone or to print uh, to print multiple dots of the ink on to the paper or a material being used so en martar idna illi tones na tones na use martar enakke print na maadlikke that tone itself is called as a pen it the different uh, 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 images will be printed 
using those pens they use multiple colors or multiple colors are been used in the plotted printer by using the different kinds of uh, printer like different kinds of pens where the uh, way which helps us to draw the uh, given shape so this is mainly used in engineering applications so whenever we have engineering applications or if you talk about any engineering things they have a design plan so this design plan is been drawn with the help of plotted printers so this is about the plotted printer so the next so let us learn what is speakers so a speaker is a device which converts your analog data and digital data in the form of sound so what is a speaker a speaker is always called as output device also which this converts a data a digital data and analog data a digital data it may be a signals analog uh, sorry analog data it may be a signals and digital data it means it is a numbers zeros and ones or it may be anything so those data are been converted into the form of sound signal by which you get a sounds or like your songs are been generated and it is been heard to you so, so that is a speaker so basically it is an output device whatever data which is provided by the processor will be held uh, tell uh, so told to you through a sound sound uh, voice sound voice commands so this speaker using this speaker and an application known as speech synthesis you can convert your data into a voice output so using the speaker and the uh, wire things you can convert the data into a voice output okay so the next the advancement of the speaker helps you to uh, track the using the track system it gave a birth to a track system what is a track system like say for the example if you have uh, like a bomb square how they find the day uh, a bombs which is present here using ultraviolet things right by hearing the sound ultraviolet provides you that sharp sound so that by that sound you can detect wherever the bombs are there and they detect the metallic things over here so those kinds of things are done through the advancement of the speaker so most of the speaker which has internal amplifiers like a sound box or a woofer system those things require power supply so those are like bigger speakers which has been used in the functions of some kinds of things at the at that point and all we use the speaker we use the power supply to generate the sound this is about the speaker so the next concept is memory unit a memory is one of the most essential part of the computer now without a memory nami survive madlikke agudilla Say for the example, Nimma Nimma Mansh Mansh Jivanan Thakur. So now we got, now we get, now we, now if we doesn't have any memory or if we doesn't have any storage, whether we were able to remember our name, no, right? Same way, a computer has its own memory. A memory is one of the main essential part of the computer. So here, when we speak about memory, a memory is been divided into three types. One is primary memory. secondary memory and cache memory what is this primary memory a primary memory is a main memory we call them as a volatile why we call them as a volatile because the data which we are going to store into the computer it will be present only till the only till the uh, what we say a power is there once you shut off your switch off your system then data will be erased such kind of uh, the, such kind of data or such kind of uh, and the memory is known as primary memory so there are the two types of primary memories one is ram other one is rom what is a ram a ram means it is a random access memory so why what is this random access memory ivaga nimma system boot aagi windows 10 or windows 7 me launch agutha alva system pad so hege launch agutha ant helidre nimma data the memo operating system what we are going to say that operating system will be present that operating system will be present in the ram after that it runs the ram it runs and then it helps you to work on your system that is a ram what is rom a rom is read only memory it will be installed when you take a system at that time itself it will be installed and it is the permanent you can't erase them 
that is wrong so there are two to three types different types of rom one is p rom e rom ep rom next uh, here secondary memory store secondary storage is a permanent storage device like hard disk tape magnetic tape cd dvd and uh, pen drives etc so on that are the secondary storage the cache memory is one of the smallest memory which has high speed of data so sanna memory alli thumba speed ag work madu cache memory so whenever we, when, if we say namage system is costly agide antu helidre en antu helidre adralli cache memory jaasti irutte cache memory 1 gb cache memory go it takes lots of amount that is about a cache memory so the this enables us to store the data and use them in future why this memory unit is been used a memory unit is been used to store the data and use them in your in the future of the usage so for that reason we require memory unit so when we say about a memory a memory is been measured in the form of bytes or bits you can see in your left corner one byte it means it is 0 to 1 so only one second 8 bytes is equals to one bit means the 8 bytes if you join 8 bytes of data it becomes 1 byte so 1024 bytes of data becomes 1 kilobyte okay 1024 kilobyte becomes 1 megabyte 1024 megabytes becomes 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabytes becomes 1 terabyte so like that we have up to uh, up to g grow uh, byte uh gero byte until to uh, to the power of 100 which means 1024 into uh, to to the power of 100 means which is, which is equals to 1024 baro baro bytes gero bytes so till that we can measure so now nowadays we come up with 1 tb 2 tb 3 tb of data uh, hard disk or something but the person who uses the super computer for the research research person research things at that time they use more than the terabytes so until terabyte we have some kinds of data and uh, here this data are been measured using a bytes or a bytes or bits so this is how we use a memory unit okay so the next concept is primary memory so a primary memory always be called ram and rom so as i already said you a primary memory is a main memory of your computer system where the data has been stored for processing data has been accessed through this primary memory itself so this primary memory is called a non volatile memory the data which is uh, in entered into the primary memory will be temporary and if once a power goes off the data will not be provided to you such kind of memories are known as primary memory in the in the, in the storage area this is when when we say about the primary memory this primary memory becomes a main storage area of your computer so when the data is been processed at that time the primary memory helps you with data which are been stored or which which helps you to access the data to provide the output for a given persons or given users so this usually refers as a chipset which holds the data and instruction into them what is this this represents as a chipset in a system and may may moreover this ram and rom is been present inside the cpu not outside the things it is a hardware thing itself you can touch and feel and you can do any kinds of things but this thing here when we say ram and rom it becomes a primary memory and a main memory of a system if the system goes wrong or if the system has some problem in your some problem then you need to check on the ram once you rub, if you rub your ram and if you put again the system works so one more main thing here is your operating system first when you boot up the operating system completely runs on your ram not on anywhere when you shut down the system completely it moves to the hard disk and it stores the data over there and here this is about a primary memory so what is a primary memory one of the main storage unit of your computer system it is known as a volatile memory why i call them as a volatile memory because the data which is present in the ram uh, it will be present it will be active until the power is on once the power is off your data you will not get back your data that is about the that is about the storage system so okay this is the primary storage system so let us look the different types of rom so there are three different types of rom 
one is read only memory or ram next one is uh, P PROM programmably read only memory third one is EPROM electronically programmable read only memory the fourth one is uh, uh, electronically erasable programmable read only memory so there are three types of rams one is PROM e, uh, ROM means it is read only memory so why is a ROM ROM is been used a ROM is mainly been used to to store the data permanently like say for the example once if you if you need to install the data or your system requires some uh, basic input operations at that time all the data are been stored in the ram itself sorry rom itself so that is known as a rom so a rom a rom the information is burnt into the rom using uh, is burnt into the rom in a manufacture time itself so the first when you the when you are going to uh, take a system or when they manufacture system right what all the things a system requires for that uh, well, sometimes uh, we all know right so when a human being need to stand he should have a proper bones he should have proper set of things and all right same way when a system should be run or when system is required to be run at the time what happens here is you should always have some basic uh, installed things so those basic installed things will be present in your rom so rom means read only memory so different types of roms are p rom programmably read only memory e rom uh, erasable programmable read only memory e e p r o m electronically erasable programmable read only memory so let us go one by one okay what is rom now rom the information is burned in the memory chip at the manufacture time itself so once the data has been written in a ram it will be no, it will not be removed outside the ram okay it will be not removed here the data can't be erased only it can read it so if you need to uninstall if you need to remove the data in the ram it is not possible it is only uh, fixed data which is there inside your uh, system okay the next when when we switch off the data the program will not uh, be removed out of the uh, out of the uh, ram means now once the system na remove if we say ram na now ram a little data if i if i uh, switch off my system and keep ready if the ram has the data that data should be removed but when we switch off the uh, uh, system and if we see rom will in a rom the data will not be removed it will be permanently used okay the next one is programmable read only memory so it is a mem program with this memory on which the data can be written once again so using this p rom the data are written once again before after the manufacturing of a system also clear so next the variation of the programmable ram is a program a programmable read only memory chip is that the it is not burnt in the manufacture time but a programmer can use this pro p rom to run this system programmer can use this p rom to run the system and it can be uh, it can be uh, read out of that also what whatever the things he need to uh, install he can write means what does the prom say means a prom will not be burnt manufacture time itself yavaga manufacture avate bartirodilla because nowadays all the softwares are changing at n n times of time so if we have manufacture at that time it will not work sometime for that reason what they do they keep that empty when they when a programmer requires uh, at that time he will print the data uh, this is about a prom clear so next EPROM electronically programmable read only memory elect uh, elect erasable programmable read only memory the here the information can be uh, erased and reprogrammed using the special prom so how here no nodi rom alli ene data sidru a data na erase madlik agala but what happened prom alli data na erase madak agala but it can be left empty when they require at that time they can utilize them if they are if they doesn't require anything they can leave out like that itself okay that is about the ep rom uh, p rom ep rom al nodi ivaga the what the, what they say the data na erase maadabodu reprogram maadabodu by the special p rom the programmable rom is non volatile memory and ep rom differs from the p rom that p rom can be written 
only once and it cannot be erased once all p rom only data is not there it cannot be erased but whenever we say ep rom you can erase the data and can write the data again and once you rewrite the program once you rewrite the program in contain you can change the contain also that is about ep rom electronically programmable uh, erasable programmable read only memory now the last one is eeprr on electrically erasable programmable read only memory so what is this this is one of the recent developed ram this is one of the recently developed ram i rom this is equivalent to ep rom but it does not require a ultraviolet light to erase the content it means what we say here is e rom e rom is special ep ep ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇರೋ ಡೌನ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಮಗೆ ಏನೇ ಡೇಟಾಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಇಲೆಜ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ರಿರೋ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇರೇಸ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಬೈ ಬೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ವಾಲಟೈಲ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ we can't say that it is a volatile in nature it is a non volatile in a nature because you can erase the data and if the data are been permanently fixed in the ram okay but when we speak about eeprr or ram either it is a erasable ram also but it is not faster than rom so here uh, a flash memory is is a special type of ram ep rom that can be erased and rewrite the program so you can see mobile also not good if the mobile's uh, password is been uh, uh, disclosed or nami flash password e gottira anta nivu en martira you go to a cyber center and say that i need to flash your mobile ram flash your mobile so what is what it means you are going to use this ep rom itself and you are going to flash that ram so this is about the ep rom so hope you understood about this classes so uh, i am stop here itself if you have any doubts please contact me thank you